Hi, this is a temperature converter quiz for my students. Um, this is the design window. I won't show them the code. I would like for my students to design the code. But this is uh, some of the things I want them to understand. So we have a few labels here. This is a label. This, of course, is a label. This actually is another label, too. And I have changed uh, one of the properties here of the label. The students haven't learned this yet. But the border style of this label has been changed. Of course, we have a button, and this is a text box that the user can type in. What's going to happen is, whenever we run the program, is the user will type in a temperature in Celsius here, press the convert button, and the temperature in Fahrenheit will appear here in this label. Okay, so notice we have an icon here, we have a temperature converter as the title of the, of the window, and we have a nice little yellow background. Point out that the, temp that the text box will be empty whenever we run it, the label box will be empty whenever we, whenever we run it, and this label 2 will magically have a degree C in there. So let's run that and let's see this happen. Okay. Again, the temperature box is empty. We can type in a temperature. Press convert. And out pops the answer in Fahrenheit with also a degree F. Now this degree is going to be a challenge uh, for folks. But let me give you a hint. You can use the chr command to take some ASCII character, A-S-C-I-I -I character, a number, decimal number, and convert it to an ASCII character. So chr will take, a, will take some code, a numerical code, and will give you the ASCII character. All the letters, A through Z, capital and lowercase, have their own ASCII values, as do many of the other characters that the keyboard doesn't have. One of these is the degree symbol. So perhaps you can do a web search for ASCII codes and see if you can't figure out the CHR. CHR will just return, turn that number, turn that character number into an actual character. Right? So, good luck with the quiz. Uh, my solution will be posted at a later time.